and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would sit down and do a sheen haul. Now, I have not done a sheen haul in so, so long. I just haven't been purchasing from there as much. I haven't been going on there as much, but I thought that I would stock up on some autumn essentials from there. So we have a massive bag of stuff to go through. I have not opened this yet, so this is going to be like a proper first impressions video. I'm going to leave try on clips on the screen as always. Yeah, I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to get straight into this video. I really do hope that you do enjoy. I will also leave the links down below to everything in this video so you can go and shop. This has all kindly been gifted, but as always, my opinions are going to be my own. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that something's good if I don't think it is. And also, I have a discount code, so if you do want to go and get anything, I'll leave it on the screen, my code, and I'll put it in the description so you can go and use that and save yourself a little bit of money as well. The first thing that I got, this actually came the other day, it came separately, I'm not really sure why. This came like express, and then the rest of the stuff came like maybe three, four days later. But this is so cool, I love it so much, it's just like a, a woolen, oversized jumper. But I love that it almost looks like two jumpers in one. It's got a tiny little underlining. It is only on the collar a little bit and then at the bottom as well. I just think it's a little bit different to all the other jumpers that I've got. It's still very plain, still simple, still going to go with everything. It's just got a little touch that makes it a little bit different from anything else. I'm pretty sure this came in other colours but I just really like this one. It's a good throw on piece, put it under things, layer it, wear it on its own in autumn. I also really want the mustard seed Uggs and I think this with just a pair of either leather trousers or denim trousers and a pair of the platform Uggs would look so cute. I don't think it's going to be itchy as well. It doesn't feel like an itchy woolen material which is good because oh my god. There is absolutely nothing worse than an itchy jumper. Whoa, I can't stand it. I have to get them off. I can't wear them. So the fact that this feels like it's going to be good is a winner already. So very happy with this. So this is just like a standard boxy vest top. Not going to lie, I didn't expect the materials to feel like this. I thought it would be a little bit thicker. And on the model, it looked miles lighter in shape. Like I swear this looked like a cream colour. Whereas this is like a very nudie beige colour. I don't think that the quality is amazing. Um, it's not bad, it's not see-through, but it's just not amazing. I think I will maybe reach for this more in the house. So it is just like a standard fit. The sleeves look like a really nice length though and so does the actual length of the full top. I think this for me is going to sit maybe on like my waistline, which is a really nice length. And then it came with matching bottoms. This is obviously the exact same material, same colour. Just quite wide legs, which is a really nice length. They look like they're going to be a really good length on me. And then they have an elasticated waist at the back. So super stretchy, super nice. I got this in my true to size and I'm really glad that I did because I think these are going to fit really well. And they have pockets on the side as well, which is great. Just slouchy, comfy. I will say they feel like a very comfy material. Like they're just going to be great for every day in the house, which is how I'll probably wear it now. If it was the girl, I was just going to like chuck this on day to day, going out, going to shops. I don't know if it's thick enough for that. Maybe when I try it on, I'll change my mind, but I think this is going to be like an in-the-house chill little outfit, which I actually like because this is so easy just to throw on. You're going to be comfy, but you also look like you've made a little bit of an effort because you've got like a cute little matching set on. So yeah, not mad about that. It's not over the moon, but you know, it's standard. It's pretty good. I'm definitely going to get my wear out of it. You can never have enough hoodies in winter, so I got myself another one. This feels like amazing quality. I won't lie to you, when I saw this on the website, I'm pretty sure for Sheen, I thought, that is a little bit expensive, but the quality really is there with this piece, whereas sometimes you get hoodies from Sheen and they're like the thinnest thing ever. It's got a pretty big hood, so we'll see how that looks when it's on, but as long as it's structured enough, it'll sit quite nicely. Drawstrings, so you can cinch the hood in if you want to. Comes out a pretty boxy fit, quite wide on the arms, and then just cuffs in slightly. Says San Diego on the front, which I thought was really cool. Still pretty simple, basic colours for autumn, winter time, but just adding a pop of something a little bit different. And then at the bottom, it has little pockets and cuffs again. I just think it's going to be really cosy in winter. It's going to go with everything. Just chuck on a pair of leggings, chuck this over the top, pair of jeans, jacket over the top, wear it in the house. You cannot go wrong with a hoodie. I don't think you can ever, ever have enough hoodies. I wear mine more or less every single day, especially when it's transitioning for summer to autumn. I usually just wear like a little summery top still and take a hoodie out with me and I always end up chucking it on because it does get a little bit chilly. And even if it's warm during the day, it gets colder on a night during this time of year. So I always like to have a hoodie with me just to chuck on. And this one looks like it's going to be a really, really good one. And I'm going to reach for it all the time. This did also come in loads of different colours. But I just thought the brown was nice and autumnal. But yeah, if this colour is not for you, there's so many different combinations. And I think like the San Diego, there was different colours of that. So it's not all white. There was a few different ones. But 
this was the one that stood out to me so i went for this one this i got for holiday but it didn't come in time so i didn't end up taking it obviously but i'm thinking of maybe taking it away to room with me i need to see what it's like when it's on but it's just this like police two-piece set so it comes with a bandeau style top which is so nice i actually can't believe how nice this material is it feels really soft it is pretty see-through it's almost mesh can you see that but if i have like a nude bandeau on it's gonna be okay i think obviously you'll see better when it's on my only other worry is the back is beautiful i love that it's got a little cut out and it's elasticated it's nice and stretchy it's not going to dig in at all but obviously it's going to make it a little bit hard to wear a bra with it so maybe i need to get one of those ones you know where you stick them on so it's just the front rather than the front and the back but we'll see when it's on sometimes things like this are misleading they don't look too bad when they're on so we'll just have to wait and see i love the color again this came in multiple different colors but the sage one just stood out to me it looks like it's gonna be a really lovely length pretty cropped but i'm pretty sure the bottoms are quite high waisted so they'll probably just sit on the waistline of the bottoms a little bit disappointed about the thickness and the fact that it's a little bit mesh but apart from that i think this is absolutely gorgeous and then the bottoms are the exact same material police material and sage and then they're just some like nice i'd say more straight like they're not really wide trousers again these just look so see-through they're so see-through which is such a shame i just wish they were a bit thicker i'm just a little bit disappointed about the thickness of these and then they come down and they're like lettuce hem i want to say at the bottom but i think that's really really nice i'm hoping that these are gonna like sit just on the ankle they don't look like they're gonna be too long for me but they look longer than the other trousers in the other cord that i showed you elasticated again at the waist which is great i'm just really sad that these don't look like they're gonna be the thickest thing in the world maybe i can get away with it i will see but a little bit disappointed in them unfortunately but the actual style is so nice and it could look so classy and elegant oh i'm so sad i'm so sad because i really had high hopes for this i've had other things from sheen basics before and it's been amazing like the slinky tops that i always get if you've watched these other videos before i love them i think they're so good such good quality so i thought you know what i'm gonna get a nice long sleeve one for awesome winter i'm loving like the high neck long sleeve pretty long tops they just go with everything they're amazing layering pieces but you can also wear them on the run like they're just great i just want a few more to stock up for the colder months this one had potential the sleeves are nice the length's nice i like the rib material on it i think the collar's okay i don't think it'd be too wide when it was on but this is just so see-through you can literally see look at that you can see my whole hand so yeah again i would not recommend this like i said i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not gonna tell you something's good if it's not and i don't think that this is great i've had much better things from sheen before and i just wish that maybe i looked more on the website and got the one in the same material as the little tops that i've got because i think that they would have been so much better because the quality of them ones is amazing it's very very thin it feels pretty flimsy like it wouldn't be very structured on maybe in the try and clip i'll be pleasantly surprised but i don't think i will be and i'm really really sad about that oh my god this is so cute so complete 180 from the last piece i love the quality of this one a really nice knitted jumper it comes out pretty wide on the arms got a nice little bit of stretch to it cuffs in at the end cuffs in at the bottom it looks like it's gonna sit really nice just be like on the waistline of my jeans i love how high this neckline goes it's not like turtleneck but it's gonna sit really high up and be really flattering i loved the color this beautiful baby blue is so so cute they had again so many different colors but this baby blue just stood out to me and i don't have a baby blue jumper at all i don't think so i just thought that this was a bit different and i've been really loving baby blue at the minute i got a top from zara and i loved the way that it like pops i think it works well with blonde hair i think blue and blonde hair just goes quite well together and as soon as i got that i was like oh my god i want blue in everything so i'm so glad that i've now got a jumper in this color blue because i think it's stunning i'm very very happy with this i don't think it's gonna be too oversized i got this in a size up from my usual size and i'm really glad that I did because it looks like it's gonna be nice a little bit baggy without being ridiculously oversized so if you want it to fit how it fits on me in the triangle clip, i would recommend sizing up but yeah very happy with that that's good i'm really excited to wear that i also do want to say before i show you these that all of these bags never get rid of them i don't like wasting all the sheen bags because i do realize that the packaging can be pretty excessive and a bit wasteful i always give these to like josh's family because they do a lot of like arts and crafts so they put things in these bags which is great 
or I've used them myself for things. They don't just like get chucked away and they are recyclable as well. So don't worry, they do get reused. I got a pair of jeans. Now, I have had quite a few pairs of jeans from Sheen before and they've been amazing. They fit me really well. They've been really good lengthwise. They're not really the thickest things in the world, but for the price that you're paying, they're not going to be like realistically, they're not going to be the thickest jeans you've ever worn it's just unrealistic but these are really comfy good for every day i just like to chuck them on if i am going maybe like for a, some lunch out and about just chill but want to stick a pair of jeans on without being ridiculously like uncomfy and too structured and i really like how these ones look already it's just this washed out blue color they are almost on the verge of being like gray because they are so washed out but i think they're so cool i've said this about another pet that i got recently and it just reminds me of like a vintage g style denim jean and i just think they're so cool they are pretty wide legged just come down and then they've got like more washed out bits when it comes down to the knees i'm hoping that these are going to be a good length all the other ones that i've had in the past have been great so i'm not too worried about that and then pockets at the front little belt loop so you can add a belt if you want to and pockets at the back as well these usually fit me really nice on the waist i always get my true to size and they always fit me great so yeah i'm really happy with the color of these i think they're so cool the only thing that like lets them down from not being perfect is the thickness but i expect that when i'm getting my jeans from sheen so i do not mind at all i got something a little bit different to what i usually go for now i don't know if i've really got many jackets from sheen in the past but i saw this one and i just thought it was so cool look at this leather jacket looks so vintage again it's just so cool it's obviously a biker style jacket it's got a bell at the bottom it's got zips at either side comes out to a really nice length on the arms it looks like it's going to be pretty boxy a really nice fit it's got a nice color which looks a bit odd at the minute actually but I'm sure it'll be fine. That's a little bit better when it's on because I won't have it up anyway. I'll have it zipped down. And then a little belt style bit at the top with a button again. Just your staple biker jacket, I think. But I just really was drawn to the colour of this. I thought it looked really, really cool. And I must say, for like that fur leather material, this doesn't smell fishy. Which a lot of the time when you get fur leather, oh my god, it can smell so bad, so bad. And that was my worry about this. But it doesn't at all so i'm really impressed i mean i do have one from pull and bear which is very very similar but that's like a black one i think i'll get my uses out of both of them i think it's really nice because it's not too cropped but still slightly cropped i just thought it was so cool i loved it so i had to get it and i'm really really pleasantly surprised because i didn't know if it was going to come and feel really thin and just rubbish quality not structured at all but it actually feels like it's got a lot of structure to it and it's quite heavy considering the price of it i'm very very impressed with that again with another basic i just got myself a little vest if you see my recent zara haul you'll know that i already have about five million of these because i got so many in that video but you can never really have enough can you and when i saw this i was like oh that looks like a really nice fit so i thought i would get it again in this really nice like a charcoal gray color really nice length on the sleeves i liked the thickness of the collar i think that's what sold it to me i just thought the thickness of this bit and the sleeves looked really really nice comes down to a nice length a perfect thing to chuck under anything in the colder months and then when it comes to like spring summer next year i can pick it out again i don't think i actually have one in a gray color like this dark i have lighter grays but i don't think i have one in this dark gray so that's my excuse for getting another one i like the thickness of the rib as well it actually feels really nice it feels really soft it feels pretty thick it's not going to be see-through at all really nice and stretchy i just hope it's not gapy but i don't think it's going to be i think it's going to fit me really well i'm pretty sure i've got this in my true to size yeah i did and usually everything fits me really well a few of these pieces are actually from the daisy collection and that is what i usually go for when i'm shopping on jean because they just fit me really well and i think some of the best quality stuff is from the daisy collection very happy with that pretty plain pretty simple not loads to say about it but I'm very happy with it and you can never go wrong with little basic t-shirts. The last piece is another little cord. I really am impressed with the quality of this already. It's a little top. This is like on the verge of being cropped. It's really nice and high necked. I really love the silhouette of this. I think it looks really, really classy. Oh, I really like it. It's a little bit different to other things that I've got. It's like a, I want to call it like a satiny material because it's not quite silky because the material's matte but it's so soft it's lovely it's really really nice and then it's ruched at the side it comes out slightly on the shoulders which i think again really classy so nice obviously ruched again at the other side and it comes down a really nice length on the arms 
So that is the top half and it came in loads of different colours but I wanted to get the cream because I just thought little staple, gonna go with everything and I can wear this cohort separately, like I can wear this top with a pair of jeans and still dress it up or dress it down. And then it came with a matching maxi skirt. Well I don't know if this is meant to be like mid axi but on me I definitely think it's gonna be maxi. It's just plain, not loads to say about it. Elasticated at the waist so it's gonna have a nice little bit of stretch to it. But I just love, again, this ruching on the side is so lovely. And I like that it's earning at the top and it's not going all the way down. So it's not like too much and too, whoa, in your face. This feels so thick. Honestly, look, it's not see-through at all. It's a really nice and thick material. I'm really, really impressed with the quality of this piece. I think it's amazing. And then it's got a slit. Like halfway down the back, I'd say it comes out into a slit. And sometimes when you get like bodycon dresses or skirts and they're maxi you can't walk in them like you really struggle to walk in them i got one from pull and bear that had a slit in like this and it was so good it's just so easy to wear and you can walk for ages and not worry and not like waddle along that sort of drew me to it as well because i thought oh that's gonna be so easy to walk in again i can wear this with loads of different things it's a color that's gonna go with so much i don't just have to wear it as a cohort but obviously together it's gonna look beautiful i just think the quality of this is unbelievable and I can't wait to try this on. The only little worry I have is that it's going to be too long for me. Fingers crossed it's going to be fine. I think I'll be okay. So that is absolutely everything that I got from Sheen. I really do hope that you did enjoy this video. I got a few little different bits to show you and hopefully this has given you some autumn inspiration. If you did enjoy this one, please make sure to leave a like and do subscribe down below so you don't miss any others and I will see you very soon.